Jeff, I, I know that you guys didn't get the start that you wanted, but it did feel like you guys settled in and, and were getting zone time uh, throughout most of the first and second period, um, and then sort of things fell apart after that Manjapani goal. Uh, is that sort of how, how, how you, you felt the game went? Yeah, I think that's fairly accurate. I mean, uh, you know, the first goal against is just a, it's, it's an unforced turnover in the neutral zone. Like, you know, that gets us back on our heels a little bit. And I thought we, uh, I thought we had a good push at the start of the second period. And but the uh, the two late goals, I mean, uh, they're they're killers, obviously. Uh, after we got the game to two one, and it's the you know it's the same thing again. Like it's not what you make all the time; it's what you leave. And to leave those opportunities that we gave them after making the hockey game two to one, it's inexcusable. Was it a lack of concentration a little bit after the goal and, and seeing the end of the period? Do you have any sense? Well, I think it's you know I think it's a couple of things. Yeah, it's probably you know lack of awareness, lack of concentration. I mean, you know, I mean when, when you're you know you just you have to understand the time and the score at all times. Um, you have to understand the flows of the hockey game, and it got to two one. They came back, they bumped up, and they they got rewarded on two shifts. And you know we've got to we've got to do a much better job in terms of how we react to that, and we got to get ourselves ready to go. And you know it should be us that's trying to bump up after scoring a goal, not playing in our own end twice and giving up two. Thank you, Put Eric Francis. Jeff, did you consider? During the second intermission, pulling your goalie? Yeah, we talked about it. Um, you know, when they got the fifth one, I, I thought, you know, it, it's, it was a good opportunity to get uh, David in, get him some work. Um, you know, at that point in time, uh, after that fifth one, there wasn't much going on. It was a lot of garbage time the rest of the way. Um, so we felt it was a great opportunity to get him in, get Marky out. And yeah, we did talk about it after the second. And, and at the tail end of a game like that, when it's out of reach and you've got 10 minutes to play still, you know, am I too old school and thinking that you would like to see a little of emotion, maybe some pushback, some bite from your players, or, or is that is that too old school? No, yeah, no, it's not too old school. It's absolutely true. You know, I mean, there's something to be, there's something to be gotten out of every period that you play. You know, and you're you're trying to win the period. You're trying to compete. Like there's there's an awful lot that we can with a good period we can set ourselves up for. You know, um, but yeah, I, you know, I thought uh, when it got to 5-1, you know, we needed to, we needed to bear down and do some things. And, you know, it's uh, there's there's a place for old school in the game. There's no question. And finally, just when you look back at this series, that's four games against, you know, obviously an important rival. How would you sum up your team's play over those four games? Inconsistent. You know, I think it's probably the best way. Um, but we've been talking about that for a while now. You know, it's time to it's time to put this thing to bed and take charge and take control of what we can. And you know, we we certainly can control the way we start. We certainly can control how we pay attention to details, how hard we compete, how much we care. You know, all those things are certainly within our control. It's time for us to start giving a shit about it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Go to Ryan Pike. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Ryan. Uh, you, you mentioned the starts. I know dating back a while, the, the first periods have been uh, an issue at times. I guess how concerning is it for your, your group that you keep having, you know, these these slow starts? And, uh, you know, I, I know there's been a lot of times in the first periods where you guys have been sort of down a goal and having to sort of dig yourselves out. Yeah, it's concerning. There's no question. I mean, it's something that we have to get solved. And for me, there's, uh, there's no excuse not to be ready to play a hockey game. You know, really. I mean... You know, this is the National Hockey League. It's the best players in the world. And, I mean, they know how to prepare to play. So, you know, it's uh, – I don't uh, – we've got to solve it for sure. Um, but, I mean, these guys have played enough hockey to understand what they need to do in order to get themselves ready to play. I mean, you know, they know what their ideal performance state is and how to get into it and all that kind of stuff, and they've got to start getting there. I mean, it's, uh, it's – I shouldn't say that they've got to start getting there. We've got to start getting there as a team. It's just not one or two guys. We've just got to do a much, much better job of it, you know, as a team getting ready to play. And there's no, uh, you know, there's no excuse for it. Go to Darren Haynes. Jeff, when you talk about inconsistent play, 
you know, there, there's not practice drills, I'm guessing, to solve something like that. What are, what are, what tools do you have at your fingertips to try and solve that? Well, work one. You know, a lot of things, there's a lot of issues are solved just by working hard and competing. So, you know, that's got to, that's got to become more consistent for us for sure. hundred percent. You know, uh, we got to move our feet a lot more consistently than what we do right now. I mean, uh, when we skate, we can play. When we don't skate, you got no chance in this league. And, you know, so those are two areas that, w that we need to start. And then obviously uh, paying attention to the, you know, paying attention to the details of the structure. You know, we've got we've to do a much better job in certain areas there. I mean, it's, uh, when you play with structure, your skill has a chance to come out. If you play with no structure, you got no chance. So, you know, those are, those are all areas that we can address. But it all starts with, uh, with work ethic. Right. So just but from as a coach, is there like what can you do? Is there is that or is it just kind of one of those frustrations where it's kind of out of your hands? No, no, it's not out. Of, it's not out of our hands. You know, we've got to make sure that we practice at the right pace. We've got to make sure that we, you know, we're accountable to each other for our work ethic and our compete. We've got to put some of that stuff in practice. You know, we've got to demand execution. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do to, to help it.